Good afternoon, Dr. Gary here on the road. We have a chilly fall day. I can't wait to get down to Florida. Actually, we have to go to Georgia next, come to think of it, because we have a, a few practices in Georgia to sell and I haven't been down there yet. So I'm working on getting down to Georgia very soon. Texas, I have a few more there. So I'll be in warm weather soon. So anyway, we sell dental practices. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. We're here to help you. Um, we're always free for consultations if you want to call us, etc. cetera, a buyer or a seller. So today's topic is what happens if I have a lease on my equipment and I'm trying to sell everything at closing? What is the game plan? What's the formula? So we'll talk about that today. The name of our company is Dental Practice uh, Brokers Nationwide Healthcare Practice Sales LLC. We're doing this now for 12 years and we have 10 employees and we're more than happy to work with you uh, at any time to share all our listings. Also, all the, uh, our phone number is 203-201-663-0935 and our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or Nationwide Dental Practice Broker. Com. You can always reach us. We answer the phone every day except Christmas and Easter. And we answer it from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. East Coast time. So just give us a call. We'd be more than happy to uh, chat with you and we can go from there. So if you're also thinking about selling to a DSO, please call us. If your practice is large enough, doing over 900, has five chairs, some extra doctors working, uh, they're out there buying and they pay our commission. Most of the time, our commission is always paid by a DSO. We pick and choose who we think the best ones are. The field is always changing. That's why you need somebody like us. Um, and we'll direct you uh, to the DSO we think is best for you. So call us. Sometimes we can get your legal fees reimbursed at closing. Uh, give us a ring and we'll explain that. All right, so um, today's uh, discussion is about if the seller has obligations on his equipment. Does he have to pay them off or can he just transfer it over to the buyer? Well, you can't transfer your obligations over to the buyer and he's gonna pick it up on it. You, it could be done, but a buyer doesn't wanna do that. Buyer wants everything paid off at closing. So all the title is free and clear. He's not going to uh, be burdened and uh, take over your lease payments on your laser. That's not happening. But what's happening is the sale price goes in and out of the sale price, the laser becomes a creditor. The manufacturer's the laser, whoever sold it to you becomes a creditor and they get paid off at closing. But the buyer will not take on your debt for monthly uh, payments. That's just, that doesn't happen. It gets paid off at closing. There may be certain circumstances possibly, but usually not. So, you've got to monitor it. Now we had a doctor saying, well, I want to hold on to the practice until we pay our lease off and I'll get the deduction. We say no, because you're getting the deduction for the full year when you write the rest of the lease off and pay for it. That's going to go on your tax return. And secondly, you're going to lose the buyer and make wait another year. So you're going to earn another income, work another year to generate more money. Well, then why ever sell your practice? Wait another year and another year and another year until you're 99. So no, you want to sell it now. You take the write-off now and you pay it off at closing. It's the closing monies which are coming in, which will pay the creditor that is the lease uh, leasing agent. It'll pay them off at closing it'll be free and clear they'll just simply give us a clearance letter that this will this uh item needs x number of dollars to be paid off in full and then you'll take over the title to it you as the buyer but that's how the system works seller pays it off you're giving the seller a bulk of money for the sale he used part of those sales to uh to sell it all right, so if you ever have questions, give us a call. Now, we're the only, one of the only brokers that have CPA accountants, so we can answer your questions. I could answer them also. But give us a ring if you want to chat about these things if you're not sure about them. Hopefully, your broker is doing it already, but I don't know. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Goodbye now.